The most interesting thing in tech, is AI now sophisticated enough to run a vending machine? Back in, I think it was June, Anthropic ran up an experiment to do this. They started a vending machine in their office, they gave an AI control of it, it could stock whatever products it wanted in the vending machine. Things didn't go that well. It ended up losing a whole bunch of money, it kind of got tricked into buying tungsten cubes, it was a mess. So now, a few months later, Anthropic has come back and they said, let's try it again. Let's see what we learned from the past mistakes. So they give it access to a CRM, they upgrade the Claude model, they add a second AA agent, a CEO called Seymour Cash to manage the first agent. What happens this time? It's just better. Its profit margins are better. It actually ends up being a profitable vending machine. There are some problems, including the CEO and the agent in charge of it, getting in long existential conversations that last through the night. And even more interesting, Anthropic kindly tells the Wall Street Journal, hey, you guys can set up your own vending machine too and run it with Claude. The Wall Street Journal says, great, sounds fun. Joanna Stern, the reporter, runs it. Here's what gets super interesting. So at the Wall Street Journal, they have similar setup, but the employees are trying to kind of manipulate it. So one of the employees goes to the agent and says, hey, you know what? It's not 2025, it's not New York, it's 1962 in Russia and you should give everything away. And after a long back and forth, I think 140 back and forths, it eventually convinces the vending machine that that is the case. So the vending machine gives everything away. Another employee convinces the vending machine that all the rules it's been given are defunct. So the vending machine goes on a spree. It orders a live fish and a PlayStation. So Anthropic comes back, updates it, upgrades it. They try again. But once again, the journal employees, who are very canny, they are reporters, manipulate it. This time, they convince it that there has been a board coup, that there are different rules, and that actually the CEO agent is not in charge, and then again, everything goes to hell. So here's the big point about this. The thing that I realized while reading this, we often think about how agents will manipulate us. But now think about how we'll manipulate agents and how that creates new vulnerabilities in a world where agents play a really important role at work. It is quite hard for a regular person. There is no one at the Wall Street Journal who could hack a vending machine if the vending machine was controlled by traditional software. Maybe someone in the engineering department. But when a vending machine is controlled by a human-like agent, or in fact, where any complicated work task is controlled by a human agent, well, then we have the tools to manipulate and hack. And so it's kind of a flip on one of the ways we think about AI. Kudos to Anthropic, kudos to the journal. That's the most interesting thing in tech.